Hello friends, today we're going to see about the important IV anesthetic drug Theopentone Sodium. From this video, you'll know. What is Theopentone Sodium? Systemic Effects of Theopentone Sodium Complications and Contraindications of Theopentone Sodium Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the button to get regular notifications. Now we'll get on to the video. Theopentone, also known as sodium thiopentol, is a rapid onset short-acting barbiturate that is used as an intravenous anesthetic. It is the thiobarbiturate analog of pentobarbital and an analog of thiobarbital. It was discovered by Water and Lundy in 1934. Physical Properties Theopantone sodium is available as a yellow amorphous powder white. An amorphous powder is a powder that does not have a specific shape or structure. It is not made up of crystals or grains but rather is a collection of small particles that are randomly arranged. It is a highly alkaline solution pH of 10.5. This high alkaline property is due to the presence of the sodium ion and the thiopental anion, which can attract hydrogen ions from the water molecule, resulting in the formation of hydrosulfide ions and an increase in pH. As they form hydrosulfide, it smells like hydrogen sulfide, which is often described as similar to that of rotten eggs or sewage. Usually, it was prepared using nitrogen. Nitrogen is often used as a carrier gas when preparing theopentone because it is an inert gas that does not react with the drug or other components in the preparation process. This helps ensure the purity and stability of the final product, as well as minimize the risk of contamination or degradation of the drug. It also contains some preservatives like 6% anhydrous sodium carbonate. This 6% anhydrous sodium carbonate is added to theopentone sodium as a buffering agent to adjust the pH of the solution. As we discussed earlier due to formation of hydrosulfide increases the pH level. The ideal pH of theopentone sodium should be 10.5 to 11.5. If it is too high it can cause irradiation, pain, or even tissue damage at the site of injection. To avoid this anhydrous sodium carbonate is added and this acts to neutralize the excess hydrogen ions in the solution, which helps to stabilize the pH and ensure the drug is effective and safe for use. Availability. Theopentone sodium injection is available in vials containing half a gram and one gram of the drug in powder form, which is then reconstituted with sterile water for injection before use. It is used in concentrations of 2.5% and 5%. Once reconstituted, the vial becomes a solution that should be used immediately and not stored for an extended period. This is because an open vial of theopentone sodium has a greater risk of contamination, loss of potency, and chemical structure instability. The reconstituted solution is typically stable for a short duration, usually ranging from a few hours to a maximum of 24 hours. Therefore, after opening it is mandatory to discard the vial within 24 hours. Mechanism of Action the action of theopentone involves a positive modulation of the inhibitory function of the neurotransmitter gamma aminobutyric acid. GABA mediated, at high doses, and directly potentiates chloride conductance. Pharmacokinetics. Absorption. Theopentone sodium is administered intravenously, which allows for rapid and complete absorption directly into the bloodstream. Distribution. Once in the bloodstream, Theopentone sodium distributes rapidly throughout the body, including the brain and other highly perfused tissues. Its high lipid solubility allows it to cross the blood-brain barrier quickly, resulting in the rapid onset of anesthesia. Induction is achieved in one arm's brain circulation time of 15 seconds. Metabolism. Theopentone sodium is primarily metabolized in the liver through biotransformation. The metabolism of theopentone sodium is relatively fast, resulting in a short duration of action. Elimination. Theopentone sodium is eliminated primarily through hepatic metabolism and subsequent renal excretion. The elimination half-life is around 10.3 hours. The clearance of theopentone sodium can be affected by hepatic or renal impairment. Systemic effects theopentone sodium. Central nervous system. Except for ketamine, all intravenous anesthetics are cerebral vasoconstriction. 
Theopantone makes vasoconstriction on the arteries L, minimal blood flow through it. So it results in a decrease in intracranial pressure. Theopantone also causes a marked decrease in the metabolic rate. So, Theopantone is the drug of choice for head surgeries. Also, it is a potent anticonvulsant. So it is also the drug of choice for epilepsy patients. I. When there is a decrease in intracranial pressure there is also a significant decrease in intraocular pressure. Cardiovascular system. Whenever theopentone it goes through the blood vessels. Acts on the blood vessels and releases histamine. The action of the histamine is the dilation of blood vessels. It increases the permeability and lowers pressure. An increase in heart rate occurs as compensation for hypotension. Respiratory system. When theopentone reaches the blood vessels of the lungs, there is a temporary cessation of breathing. At high doses, it causes transient apnea. This is because of the release of histamine. Histamine release on the bronchi causes bronchospasm and on the larynx causes laryngospasms. Treatment, intermittent positive pressure ventilation with bag and mask. Pregnancy. It crosses the placenta and causes fetal depression. Complications. It causes pain on injection and causes local necrosis of the area that can lead to ulceration. This pain can be reduced by mixing lignocaine with theopentone sodium. Intra-arterial injection. Due to high alkalinity, it gets precipitated in arterial pH leading to crystal formation which blocks the small arteries and induces vascular spasm. It also causes several systemic complications such as respiratory depression, laryngeal spasm, cardiovascular depression, laryngeal spasm, coughing, hiccups, and tachyphylaxis. Contraindications. Absolute contraindication. Porphyria. Porphyria is a group of disorders that occur due to the accumulation of porphyrins in the body. Theopantone increases this accumulation and can cause an acute attack of porphyria in susceptible individuals. That's why it is contraindicated in porphyria patients. Anaphylaxis. It is contraindicated if they're allergic to the theopantone drug. Relative contraindications. Shock patients. As it reduces the blood pressure it is contraindicated in shock patients. Asthmatics. Due to respiratory depression, it is not advisable to use for asthmatics patients. Okay, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.